Hello guys, full time at the London Stadium. Arsenal have won by six goals to nil. I believe I'm right in saying it is the best ever away win for Arsenal in the Premier League era. An amazing result and really consolidates what Arsenal did last weekend, beating Liverpool, you know, reinserting themselves to the title race. They've absolutely reasserted their credentials again this weekend. A fantastic performance, a fantastic result. And the funny thing is, it actually isn't all that different a performance from the first game against them, which we lost, obviously, at the Emirates Stadium. The dominance was similar. But I think if you look back at the break uh, after the Christmas period, going away to Dubai, what have we done since then? Better. We've finished much, much better. And that was the case today. Some brilliant finishing on show. Arsenal capitalising on a, uh, some very poor West Ham defending to get the win, to get the result. But it will have been such a boost, such a lift to the squad to get this result today. I think spirits will be really high and they'll be feeling very confident at a crucial point in the season, you know, not just in the title race, but with the resumption of the Champions League as well. Um, where to start? I guess with the team news, really. Jorginho not deemed fit to start. Gabriel Jesus not deemed fit to start. Could have kept Havertz up top instead. Um, with Emil Smith-Rowe also out, he went for Trossard uh, and Havertz. And it's funny, I mean, a lot of the time in the first half, Arsenal looked like a kind of traditional 4-4-2 uh, with a sort of big man, little man partnership up front. I think Trossard was ostensibly playing as the false nine and Havertz as that number eight pushing on. But a lot of the time they seem to be operating as a front two. We're used to seeing that out of possession, but we were seeing it in possession at times as well. And Arsenal had to be patient, you know, for all their dominance um, the goal didn't come in the first half hour and it was interesting listening to the Sky commentary the narrative was there about you know, do they need a striker do they need a centre forward in the end it was set pieces that really proved uh, the difference the breakthrough William Saliba got the goal Arsenal were doing this thing all day where they lined up it was a very tall Arsenal team and they lined up all those tall players at the far post away from Suchek on the near post bit of movement there seems completely out Fox West Ham and Saliba nods home the opener. Worth keeping an eye on Ben White too, who just gives Ariola the goalkeeper, the slightest of nudges. Not enough really to warrant a free kick, but enough maybe to put Ariola off and give Saliba a simple finish. And I have to say, West Ham fell apart at that point in time. Uh, Arsenal were making chances for fun after that opening goal. Bakai Saka had a couple of headed opportunities. Then he won a penalty. It was all way too easy, way too simple. Trossard with a ball over the top. Saka ran onto it around Areola. A very lazy attempt at a challenge, really, from the goalkeeper. Saka stepped up. We've all got memories of him missing at this ground at the other end last season. Well, he put this one away, 2-0, and Arsenal cruising and in control. Little will be to know there'd be another two goals before half-time. Gabriel, a header. Another set piece, another delivery from Declan Rice, who I think, you know, you look at him and you think he's six foot plus, he'd be great in the box, he scored important goals for Arsenal this season, you think of Manchester United, think of Luton, but I'm not sure we've got anyone who delivers a set piece quite as well as him with his right foot for those in-swingers. Um, I think the decision to put him on those has been vindicated today, really, with two assists, lovely lofted ball, again, don't really know what Ariola's up to, don't know what the West Ham defence is up to, but Gabriel profits and gets himself a goal. And then Trossard, just before half-time, Odegaard. I was chatting with Art de Roche, my colleague at The Athletic, and he was telling me how Odegaard's creative numbers have really improved over the last few weeks. And Arsenal haven't necessarily provided the finishes to get him the assists that he deserves. Well, I think he got the assist here, finding Trossard. Three lovely touches from Trossard. Controls it out of his feet, bends it top corner. Listen, I think he might be the best finisher in the club. I really do. Um, and when you look at the numbers since he's come in for goal contributions, they are excellent. I think I'm right in saying he's got the third highest uh, goal contributions per minutes ratio uh, in Arsenal's Premier League history. I think Robin Van Persie and maybe one other ahead of him, which is kind of extraordinary. Um, so there you go, 4-0 at half time. West Ham were diabolical, particularly in that period after they conceded the opener, but we were able to profit from it. And how many times this season have we said we weren't able to profit, we weren't able to capitalise, we weren't able to put teams to the sword. <coughs> um, second half starts and uh, Bukayo Saka, after about 15 minutes or so, gets himself another goal. I really like this one, the way he just 
ducked inside, fired it into the near post. Something very emphatic about that. I think it takes him to 51 goals um, in an Arsenal shirt. Became the youngest player, I think, to reach 50. Um, yeah, I mean, look, what more can you say about him? He is the guy who delivers time after time. Uh, Odegaard with another assist there as well. And then a fourth goal from Declan Rice. I mean, that a sixth goal, rather. Uh, that absolutely set, set the seal on things. A brilliant strike. The ball kind of came out to him, edge of the box. A couple of players left it. A couple of players missed it. Rice just swept it into the far top corner from at least 25 yards. How he managed to keep his composure and not celebrate that one, I will never know. Uh, against his former club, who've beaten us twice this season. He was getting booed for the majority of the game. Steps up, bangs one in, 6 0 away from home. Statement made. Um, and that gave Mikel the time to make some changes. We actually saw Ethan Ranieri at 16 years old come on, um, which was you know exciting for him and good to get a, a glimpse of him in Premier League action. A nice moment I saw after the final whistle between him and Arteta. Um, you know, Arteta's had some criticism maybe for not using the young players often enough. And this was obviously a perfect scenario to bring him on. Could we have brought another one on? You know, did it need to be Cedric rather than Rule Walters at right back? Listen, I don't want to take the shine off what is a fantastic result, but I probably would have liked to see the, the younger player coming on there. Um, but 6-0 was necessary to get the win today after comprehensive wins for, for City and Liverpool yesterday. I mean, it might be like that for the remainder of the season. They are two excellent sides, but... Over the last week, Arsenal have really you know, made a bit of a statement about their intentions between now and the end of the season. I'm just glimpsing ahead at the fixture list now. Um, it's obviously Burnley away next weekend and then a tough week after that where we go away to Porto and then host Newcastle. The big games just keep on coming at this point in the season. Let's hope uh, that Arsenal can keep up this kind of form because this was outstanding, really outstanding. Our best performance, well... Probably our, our most comprehensive, most dominant performance of the season. Um, can't think of many away performances under Mikel Arteta that have been better than that. He'll be delighted to have kept the clean sheet. You saw the hunger between the likes of Raya, Gabriel, Saliba to see this out, to get that clean sheet. Um, it'll be a very happy dressing room today. Quick note, by the way, if you remember last week's video, a lot of people coming up to me shouting, let's do this. Well... Uh, I have been persuaded to launch a, a, a merchandise line. If you head over to Les L E Z Buy B U Y Dis D I S dot com, Les Buy Dis dot com, you can get yourselves all sorts: t-shirts, um, drinking bottles, mugs, hoodies, baby grows. Uh, you can join the Les Do This revolution. Um, but listen, enjoy the rest of your weekends, guys. That was fantastic and uh yeah after seeing arsenal play like that i can't wait for the next one take care bye bye